Hey everyone, you're listening to Business Bootcamp Podcast episode 128. Today our episode is sponsored by LandscapeBusinessCourse.com. Check it out today if you want to start or grow and make a wildly successful landscaping business. Now, today we are talking about the four P's of entrepreneurship. And if you know marketing or have studied marketing in the past, you know about the four P's of marketing, which is uh, price, promotion, place, and product. Okay, And those are out of most any marketing textbooks, but today we're talking just my own, this is not from you know any other source or textbook, the four P's of entrepreneurship, in my opinion. And we're going to walk through these real quick. This is going to be a long episode today. Um, but I do want to say a big thank you to everyone listening. Uh, as you know, in the past little while, I haven't had any outside sponsors. However, I've had a lot of people asking to sponsor the show, and I've just declined. Uh, but recently, one of our past sponsors, Fresh Books, reached out and said, "Hey, like your your uh, your uh, ads and your your sponsorship that you did for us was so great. And we had so much great uh, results from it, and they asked." to do again and literally like for three or four months solid and like 40 or 50 episodes so looks like we might be doing that starting next uh in january and so i'm looking forward to that and again thank you to everyone out there who has listened whether it be for the past couple months past couple episodes or if you've been the past couple years since we started the, the podcast and now it's just grown to what it is today and i thank you so much if you have ever, if I can ever do anything for you, let me know. Business Bootcamp Podcast at gmail.com is where you can email me, or check out the uh, check out the e, uh, the web uh, <laughs> check out the website at businessbootcamppodcast.com, and you can submit a question on how to start, grow, or save your business. If you go on a Facebook or Twitter, and our Twitter Twitter handle is at the Biz Podcast at the B-I-Z podcast. Uh, make sure you send a video there or you just even just email a video and we can show it on YouTube and uh, on the live video. So that's it uh, for the updates and things. Let's dive right into the four P's of entrepreneurship. So like I said, the four P's of marketing are place, so like where you put stuff, where you place the product. It can be also like your store or your retail up front. It's your product, so how do you, is the product high quality? What type of product are you selling? Where is it made? All of that. Promotion, so that's like advertising in all sorts of magazines or online, any sort of promoting the product. And then price, and so those are the four P's of marketing. How you price it, what your pricing strategy is, and so that's all very important. Now, let's talk about the four P's the four P's of entrepreneurship. The first one is patience. And I think this is really key for so many entrepreneurs that are younger especially, or even just regardless of age, they are new in their entrepreneurial journey. Like, I, re I wrote this book here called Millennial Millionaire, and I talk a lot about millennials and people that are younger in my generations becoming entrepreneurs. And I find, especially in that age demographic and in entrepreneurs who are new, who have just got out of their nine to five, I find that there is this, this kind of baked into this entrepreneur culture, uh, Silicon Valley and raising money and all of that, is this notion of overnight success, but not just overnight success, but like within a year or two that you can create the next Instagram and sell it for a billion dollars. And that's true and that's possible, but I think for the majority of small business owners and entrepreneurs, they're gonna have to grind it out, they're gonna take years, and you know, you might be the guy that sells Instagram for a billion dollars, but it might be your fifth business after doing a couple smaller ones and then slowly growing and then, or maybe becoming uh, an executive at another firm and actually working for somebody else first. So I think we need to become more patient as entrepreneurs. We need to realize that we have a long life to live and that if you're not, just because you're not a millionaire by the time you're 30, doesn't mean you've like not become successful or something crazy like that. There's a huge amount of impact that you can have when you're older and uh, there's no reason to try to rush it. Or or really what I find is so many people will put their, the thing that, they, that they've been given in life is like their their reputation and their name They'll put that on the line in order to get short-term gain. And so that's what I'm talking about, like sleazy salesmanship and online, some stuff that I don't agree with, and just uh, just trying to sell, essentially. And it works in the short term. Like if you focus enough on 
conversion ratios and click through and all that stuff. But I think long term is about being patient is like just be patient if you've got the skill if you've got the passion and you've got the determination to back all that up being patient is really where you're gonna you should really focus on getting the in 10 years making the 20 million instead of making you know a million this year and a million next year like focus on long term and so that's why even with the podcast and a lot of stuff I've been doing with like cutting out a lot of the paid consulting is that I'm focusing on the long term and I don't want to be I don't I want to reduce the amount of time that I'm just doing dollars for hours and so it's all part of my long term strategy and I know where we're going in five years with the podcast with my landscaping business with the landscape business course with real estate with what I do uh forgiving and all that like I know where we're going and I'm it's a long term strategy it's not trying to sell out fast or um make money overnight and I realize that the glamorous way to do it I uh the glamorous way to continue in my career right now would would be to really primarily focus on the media apprenticeship podcasting consulting really go down that alley and write more books and that's nice and all good and everything but like I'm patient in that I am going to focus on really creating real businesses before I start really getting involved on uh on a really scalable level of helping entrepreneurs and other small business owners like I do as much as I can now through the podcast do it as much as I can it for free uh, and through landscape business course and now I finally you know sell some of that information however I'm not gonna go full time into that right now I am playing a long-term game and part of that long-term game is making sure that my story isn't that I got um, wealthy because I sold a lot of people information but because I created real viable businesses that employed hundreds of people and then I began to try to help other people and created so much value for them that I ended up making more money so that's what my long-term vision is and I think that entrepreneurs and small business owners if we have a longer term vision and game plan and become more patient with our businesses with our revenues uh, a lot of times people will like, hey, I'm gonna, I gotta make more, I gotta make more return, like take more money home, you know. I like if if you say your business grosses a million dollars, you're like, well, I want to take two hundred grand of that home because I made two hundred grand net profit. But what if you only took a hundred grand, but put the other hundred grand of profit back into the business, and so that next year you did one hundred one point five million, and then that year you had three hundred thousand dollars net profit and you took 200,000 of that and put it back in the business like so I think if you focus on putting money back in your business and focusing on that patience t key aspect of not trying to take short-term gains in exchange for the downfall of your long-term plan I think you're gonna see greater results and so like even for me myself I just recently cut my salary for my landscaping business in half but it's not because like uh, I don't need the money or uh, I, don't know, I don't need that like I'm above it it's just that I realize that if I can put that money back in the business and if I can become patient and not try to pull the money out and try to you know live the glamorous lifestyle or whatever now if I can be patient that the company company has plenty of room to grow to five ten times the size it is today and then I can cash out you know and when I sell it in five years like 2020 is when I'm going to sell it. Um, that is when I'll see my long-term benefit and result, and the story will end a whole lot better if I do that. And so I think for a lot of young entrepreneurs and new entrepreneurs, patience is key. So that's the first P of the four P's of entrepreneurship. The second one is persistence. This one's pretty straightforward. So the first one was patience. The second one is persistence. I find so many times when it, the going gets tough, when the bank account gets low, like, as a small business owner, even if you have a profitable business, cash flow is super important, obviously. But a lot of times what happens is when cash flow gets low, people get very discouraged because they start fearing that maybe they're doing something wrong in their business. But if they're, it might be just because they could buy a bigger piece of equipment or they start investing into their company a bunch and now they don't have a whole lot of money in the bank. And so payroll comes around and like, oh my goodness, I'm so low on cash because cash flow is low. 
But persistence will drive you through all of that. All of, all of those low lows and the high highs and the times when you feel on top of the world and the times when you feel like the business has you really wasted your time. In all those moments, persistence will bring an entrepreneur through that time. And that is the second P of the four P's of entrepreneurship. Number three, the third P is practicality. Okay, yes, you got to have persistence. Yes, you have to push through adversity. But there's also got to be a certain amount of practicality that comes with owning a business. Sometimes the best thing you can do for your business and for your employees and for your family and for the company is to actually close the business. Practicality. Just being practical as far as like, is this really worth my time? Is this worth, you know, is there something more that I can be doing that I enjoy more, that I can make more money? And is it worth the pain? Because if it is worth the pain, you've got to focus on persistence. You've got to push through it, right? But if you're, if you know, there comes a point sometimes when I think entrepreneurs really need to realize that regardless of all the hoopla and all of the encouragement to push through and keep grinding, that if you've been doing that for 10 years and losing money every single year in your family and your relationship and your health, is starting to feel the effects of those losses, you need to have that certain portion of practicality and just realize you've got to close shop. And practicality can come in forms more than just closing your business and you know becoming real with the numbers. There's a lot of por- por- parts of your business that you need to become, just come in the face with terms and practical measures of what your business is going through. Uh, number four, the fourth, P of the four P's of entrepreneurship is purpose. And I find that if small businesses had more purpose and were more purpose driven, that their business would be more successful long term. And your purpose, you say, well, I don't really have any like life changing, earth shattering purpose statement or mission statement in my business because all I do is sell this or I do this service and it's not really inspiring or motivational. What I sell doesn't change people's lives. Like for instance, me, like I do lawn care landscaping. I started that doing that years ago. That's nothing like earth shattering. Anyone could really do it. Whether or not they run the business as good as I do, that doesn't matter. I'm just saying as far as the form and function of mowing lawns and uh, you know, grading and working equipment. People, other people could do that. So when we talk about purpose, the purpose in your business might literally be to just be the platform for your next step. It, the purpose of the step, so if you're going to climb a flight of stairs, the purpose of step number one, two, three, and four is all so you can get to step number five. And now step number five, the purpose for step number five being there is so you can get to step number six until finally those stairs, those steps lead to your destination, which in this case would be the next floor. And so I think a lot of times people feel like their business is the end all be all when really the purpose of the entire business is really just for you to learn and for you to grow and then use that platform as a step to your next business or to your next big thing or your next idea or your next uh, um, career. Like even if you're not an entrepreneur, what you're doing right now might be the, the platform for you to step on to get to that next step. So when I, when I talk about purpose, that fourth P, some people are like, well, I need a purpose like, I'm going to, like for landscaping, they could be like, I want to create beautiful landscapes that will create tranquility for the life of my customers and so that the world becomes a better place and world peace is achieved. Like, so you could get really crazy and that, that's their purpose. And that's fine. If they really believe in that and that's driving them, and that's their purpose, that's great. But I feel that some small businesses, people fail to even have, they like, I don't even have a purpose in my business. I just feel like I'm just trying to pay the bills. Well, little do you know your purpose, what you need to do, what you need to focus on is what's the purpose for your life, okay? Like where, what's, what's the next flight, where's the, the flight of stairs leading to? If you can get that straight, you'll, you won't have as much of a problem with like this business, like right now my lawn long care landscaping business was a step for me to learn so much. And then another step was like my 
business education on my MBA and stuff. And another step was like the podcast starting that. And it's all leading up to where the where do I want to go. And I'm very clear on where I want to be at. It just I got to realize that every single step along the road gets me to that place. So becoming complacent at step five is not good a good thing. And I think a lot of times when people get certain levels of success at step five or step six, they forget they got 20 more steps before they get to where they, where they really want to be at, where they're really their goal to be at is. So don't get complacent at running a small business and be like, oh, this is great. I'm making 100 grand. This is an easy life. I've got this down. I have a couple employees. Everything's nice and cozy. But inside of you, you know that you're just standing on stair number five and where you want to go is still up above, up, up, up ahead of you. And you've got to realize that the business you're in is really just one more step. And that might be the purpose for that business. But if you're like, like I just don't have any purpose. There's no reason for me doing this job. Yes, it, there's a, the purpose might just be for you to get to the next thing. That might be all your business is about. It might be about just learning about a little bit more about customer service or learning about how to uh, hire employees better and get them recruited, how to create systems and procedures, how to make your website. Like All of those things might be the purpose for your business. It might not be to change the world or create the next iPhone or the next airplane like the Wright Brothers or like make these incredible life-changing, altering decisions and, and inventions. That might be where you're, you're wanting to get to, your purpose for your life. Or realize that the purpose for your business that you're in now might just be a step towards that direction. This is Mike Andy's on the Landscape Business Course. Oh, I always say Landscape Business Course because I'm using my other podcast, which is Landscape Business Course Podcast. Today is Business Bootcamp Podcast, episode 128. I'm Mike Andy's signing off.